Good morning, friends, and happy Tuesday. I know in the ending of my last vlog where I shared my Old Navy haul and my Disney haul that I said I am going to work on cleaning off the countertops and the cabinets in my kitchen the next day. Well, today is that next day, and I had decided that I'm going to skip that cleaning of the counters right now because I did not want to have to take off all of my um, Halloween decorations that are sitting on that little um, chicken cage shelving thing that I have in the kitchen. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is the thing that I'm talking about. Like I did not want to have to move this and take all of that stuff down right now because it's just, it's unpleasant. It's a pain in the butt. <laughs> So I'm just not going to do it right now. And obviously I was going to take all of this stuff off the countertops and clean everything and put all of these cookbooks in a spot. That way I can move this thing back because it's kind of like sitting here with no purpose whatsoever. And um, I need to put it back over here. So I needed to like clean up all of those and clean this stuff up and wipe everything down. I wanted to wipe all the tile and stuff down, but... But, 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 I am not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna wait until I transition from Halloween to Christmas stuff, um, which will be in November when we get back. Uh, so I'm just gonna wait and do it then because it just makes more sense to do that than it does to just to kind of redo it and then do it again in a couple of weeks when we get back and I start transitioning from thing, um, fall, Halloween to Christmas, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna skip that today. <laughs> um, but today I am actually gonna be venturing out. I'm still gonna be doing a bunch of laundry because we are leaving Friday on a trip and we have to have a lot of clothes because we are going to be gone for about two and a half weeks. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but in between all that, in between laundry, I have two places that I wanna go check out today, two places that are opening. One is already open, they just opened the doors the other day and I wanna go check it out. Is It, it is a new um, like chicken restaurant, um, chicken, fast food chicken place. It looks really, really good. I don't know the name of it right now off the top of my head, but once we get there, I will let you guys know all of it. I don't know why I keep holding this way up here, but anyway. Uh, and then there's a new like store opening up called The Standard, something like that. And I wanna go check that out as well. And I think both of those are in the same location. Again, I could be wrong. Um, I know one of them is next to Moe's Barbecue, and I'm not sure if it's next to the one that's already open or if it's next to the one that's gonna be opening over in Madison, but we'll figure it all out. Those are the two places that I wanna go to today and get those checked off of my list and then share those on my social media stuff um, for the city of Huntsville. And then come back here and do some laundry and possibly get the suitcases out. Maybe start throwing some stuff in the suitcases. That way I know in my head um, that I have like been preparing for this trip. Um, this shirt, I'm not, I like it, but I'm not exactly sure I like it, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but I am going to wear it with my uh, orange list, like sweater this like fall looking sweater. So that kind of might help break it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna wear it with this and then a pair of jeans. Um, these are shirts and stuff that I need to hang up. I just took those out of the dryer. So I folded those and put those right there. And then these are the clothes that I just washed as well and just took these out of the dryer. These are the clothes that I just got from Old Navy. So um, these are gonna obviously go with us. So I need to put those in the suitcase. These need to be put in the suitcase as well possibly so um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and excuse me do my hair really quick and uh i know some of you guys were wanting to do wanting me to show you guys how i do my hair so i thought today would be a great day for that as well so let me show you guys how i do my hair um obviously when i get out of the shower let's go in the let's go in the bathroom here when i get out of the shower the first thing that i do is use my baby detangler let me get my tripod and set it up and then I can show you guys it's a lot easier that way. Alrighty, so the first thing that I do as soon as I get out of the shower is obviously I just comb out my hair. But before I do, I always spray the Johnson's uh, No More Tangles. And I know this is a baby detangler, but it works so well with my hair. But look at the cute little lion. Isn't he just like adorable? But this is what I have been using for my hair for years. This is the detangler. I have tried other detanglers. I don't really care for them. This one always seems to work the best for me. Um, and then it's going to get light and then dark 
because of that window back there and then after i um put that stuff in i um again just kind of comb out my hair and then i put in the l'oreal uh blow dry it uh creamer and i actually just use a little bit of this maybe uh two quarters maybe quarter size in my hand and i just kind of put it through my hair and then the next thing that I have been using is the uh, Tea Tree Lavender Mint Moisture. I picked this up at Ulta a while ago and I have been using it now for about a month. Absolutely love this stuff. It keeps my hair from frizzing and having flyaways. Um, absolutely love it. Sometimes I will use this um, Tresemme uh, keratin smooth but this is also a really good um, thing to use in my hair and i absolutely love it it kind of just kind of anti-frizz detangles all that good stuff which is really really nice um, i also use um this too sometimes this is the hemp seed oil and aloe and it's just a hair um oil mist that i kind of just spray in my hair sometimes too it just kind of gives my hair a little extra shine um but for the most part what i'll do is i will come after i put my makeup on i will come back in here and I will get my little hair clip and I will pull my hair back just a little bit so I'll take this like this and I will pull it up on top of my head and then I will clip it in like this that way it's all clipped in it's nice and tight and then this part right here I will spray my hair with the L'Oreal blow dry it quick primer spray this stuff is amazing as well i've been using this stuff for quite some time and it's very very hard to find in stores so i always have to order it on amazon just like i have to order that creamer as well and then um after i spray that in my hair i'll kind of just comb it through just a little bit and then i will start to blow dry my hair so let's start blow drying i usually turn the fan on i'm going to turn the music on so you guys can listen to some music and and watch me blow dry my hair for a little bit so let's blow dry watch me under the light so keep me in your sight because i can do this all night super thick and I have just a lot of hair. I'm going to go ahead and add this uh, Tresemme Keratin Smooth stuff to my hair and all I basically do, when you guys can see that, there it is. And I love the way that this stuff smells. And basically what I do is I just put a little bit on my hands like this. I rub it into my hands and then I just kind of put it in my hair like this. It kind of takes away that little bit of frizz. Um, if your hair is oily, you may not want to use this because it does it's like an oil so if you're just like actually adding extra oil to your hair but it i don't have oily hair uh, my hair tends to stay normal or neutral and maybe on the little drier side especially like in the winter but um for the most part my hair stays pretty like natural normal i guess i'm not much of an explainer on how hair works but uh, that work, works for me and then after i do that i take my hair again and I will divide it like I did when I blow dry it. So I'll take this part and I will twist it again. And then I will clip it up here again, just like so. And then I will start to uh, curl my hair. And so basically what I do when I do that is I just kind of take a section right here and I will use a smaller barrel. I don't use a really big barrel um, curling iron. I just take it like this and I just kind of curl it 
and I bring it through and I have my curling iron on it's been on since I started getting ready to go in the shower that way it's nice and hot and then I just drop it and that's what it looks like and then I do that all the way around the back part of my hair sit here and cool for just a few minutes actually seconds really I don't have time to let it sit for minutes um, and then I just take my hands and I just take my fingers and just run it through just like this and you see how nicely the curls just kind of like fall out that's so nice and then I just do the same thing with the other side and just kind of like flip it around and then just let them fall where they may and then I floof it up here. And then if I like the way that it looks, which I like the way that this one looks, then I will go ahead and give it a nice big spray with my Tresemme. So I will spray this just like this. Give it a little bit of lift, which I forgot to put my lift stuff in, but that's okay. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm gonna go over here and I'll do the same thing on this side. Do a little bit in the back and voila it's all done so that's what my hair looks like and somebody had asked me um, how is my hair cut is it cut in layers there are a few layers in it but it's cut short in the back and longer in the front that way I can get that like look so there you have it there is how I do my hair um, pretty much every single day <laughs> if I go out anywhere this is this is how I do my hair and I am sweating. So, alrighty. So I'm about to get, finish getting myself together and ready and then we're gonna hit the road and out the door. Alrighty, so I kept thinking today was Wednesday for some reason and I don't know why. Uh, but the place that I wanted to go to, the standard, which is called, it just it's like a, let me see, let me pull it up so I can tell you guys exactly what it is. Cause it's just like a really cool like place that we have here in town um it's called um the standard social market opening soon wednesday october 20th i kept thinking today was wednesday october 20th it's not um but then i'm looking at the thing and i'm going oh monday through wednesday seven to nine i'm like oh well then they're open today no 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 they are not open until tomorrow because tomorrow is wednesday right let me let me check my calendar yeah today's the 19th what do you know? It says so right there on my calendar. Um, so tomorrow is the 20th. Ah, crap. <laughs> uh, oh, and your girl is out at 9.20 in the morning because I was so prepared to go to that place this morning. And then as I was coming down the mountain, I realized that I think today was Tuesday and not Wednesday. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is, menopause is one of those things that just like wreaks havoc on your brain and your mental thought process. <laughs> hey, but you know what? Oh well, you know, so I'm gonna get myself a Starbucks and cause I'm clear on this side of town, I'm gonna get myself a Starbucks and then I am gonna go to Hobby Lobby and then I'm gonna make my way over to the other side of town and grab lunch at the new chicken place. So, I mean, I've got plenty of time to waste because, let's see, it's, an, it's 9.20, that place opens up at 10.30. I won't get breakfast, at, I mean, lunch at 10.30, but I will um, get it at 11. So, I have to go to uh, Hobby Lobby anyway. Ugh, for crying out loud. 
Maybe I'll just go to Hobby Lobby in Madison. That way it'll make it a lot easier on me. Then I could just go to Madison and Ho Hobby Lobby in Madison and then go from there to the chicken place. That way I'll be there. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness gracious. What am I thinking? So like tomorrow morning is when they open and I wanted to go. So I'll have to try to go tomorrow. I don't know. Ugh. I have stuff I gotta do at home. I need to pack and ugh. Crazy me. Crazy, crazy me. It's been a while since I've ordered with you guys, right? You guys want anything? <laughs> Good morning and thank you for stopping by Starbucks today. This is Mikey and Emma. What's your name? Hello, my name is Angie. How are you this morning? I am great. Thank you for asking. What, how are you? I'm gr great, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but I lost my train of thought. I was like, I'm gonna ask it that happens. That was, hey, that it happens. <laughs> what uh, you getting this I would like a venti white mocha, please, with a caramel drizzle, caramel syrup, hot. You got it. Anything else? No, that's it. Thanks. Oh, awesome. Let's see here. That's gonna be seven fourteen. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> see, I'm not the only one that kind of loses their mind. <laughs> uh, uh, he did too. Okay, gotta get my phone prepared. So I made it to Hobby Lobby and the chicken place is like five minutes down the road. So I am I did what I needed to do. Now let's go in here and waste some time so I can go get my chicken later. Alrighty, so I'm over here by the hooks and I found this one. I need two of these. So I think I'll just get two of these. I like these ones. They do have quite a few different ones, but these are the only ones I kind of like, that I see that I like. 50% off too. Nice. All right, so I found different ones. I kind of like these ones so much better. So these ones are the ones that I'm gonna get. And now I'm over here in the Christmas section, looking at the Christmas decor. Because wowza, they have got a lot of Christmas decor. Grinch. Wow. Little gingerbread nativity scene cookie baking things. You can make your own gingerbread. That's fun. My mom would like the nativity one. Ooh, I love the black one. Oh yeah, I totally need that. I need the black one. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna fall. y'all all i did is went in there for some hooks and then look what happened oh my gosh 
I kind of spent some money in there today with everything being 50% off it was just like how can you not like stock up on some other Christmas ornaments because uh, yes please Alrighty, so I made it to Slim Chickens and I really thought this place would be a lot more crowded than it is, but it's really not. So anyway, so I did order my, my stuff. I got my zero calorie Coke. I love this, Madison, Alabama. Look at that cup, how cute. Now I am gonna pay for the, I'm gonna pay the price for this stuff, but I'm doing it for, I'm doing it for the vlog. Anyway, um, this is a brownie, like, dessert which looks amazing and it comes in this cute little mason jar they have pumpkin and pecan of course I got the brownie and then my chicken sandwich will be here in just a few minutes but yeah this place is actually really cute I love it oh I could go sit outside too oh that'd be nice alrighty so I decided to come outside and wait for my food my number is 36 and they just kind of like look for your number and then they bring you your lunch or your sandwich or whatever you ordered um, music third party content so I'm gonna have to keep breaking this up but the new Jonathan's restaurant is right next door too and I don't know I don't think they're open yet but that's gonna be another new restaurant that I'll have to come out here and check out lots of people in line out there which is great alrighty so here it is I just got the regular like chicken sandwich and it looks so darn good and it smells good too oh my god I cannot wait to eat this and I'm gonna pay the price but it's definitely worth it for the vlog all right, this new third party music's gonna kill me out here, but I'm gonna go in and take a bite. It looks delicious. I love, it's like almost like a brioche bun. It is super, super soft. Mmm. There's like a pickle on there. And the bun is kind of like, a little bit toasted with a little bit of crispiness on the side and it's so good that way. Oh. That is a good crispy sandwich. The fries are good. Delicious. Alrighty, so I finished up there at uh, Slim Chickens. I actually brought my, like I didn't finish all of it, so I'm bringing it like home with me. Um, that way I can put it in the refrigerator and maybe eat it later for dessert. But um, I definitely like think that they have great food. They also have wings, they have chicken wraps, they have salads. So it's kind of almost like to me, like a Zaxby's or a Chick-fil-A or something. But I don't think that Chick-fil-A has um, chicken wings. I could be wrong. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I do know that they do have chicken nuggets as does this place. Um, <clears throat> but they have chicken wings and I would definitely love to try their chicken wings because I love me some good chicken wings. I am a chicken wing girl. I love me some wings. Um, <clears throat> but maybe that's what, something I'll try next time. But I just noticed too, there's a truck wagon barbecue out here. It's like, oh, I want to check that place out too. Oh my gosh. Um, <clears throat> they have Rita's Italian ice and frozen custard and then Salsa Rita's fresh cantina right here as well. Um, this part of Huntsville has a lot of um, new restaurants uh, coming and new restaurants that are opening out this way too. Um, so if you guys are in this area, but I would definitely check out Slim Chickens. I think it's really good. The sandwich that I had was good. The fries that I had was good. I didn't eat all of the fries and I only ate like half of the sandwich, obviously just to be careful. Um, because I will pay the price for that probably later. Uh, but it was good. It was really, really good. Now, I, I wouldn't come out of my way because I live clear on the other side of town. I live 40 minutes away from here on this side of town. Um, but if I'm over here and I happen to like, oh, hey, I'm going to pick up a chicken sandwich from Slim Chickens, I definitely would. Um, I actually prefer that over a, um, a Zaxby's chicken sandwich, quite honestly. And I would actually choose that over an Arby's chicken sandwich too, quite honestly. So, um, but I thought it was good. And I love the fact that they give you like a little dessert. And I think that that's a, that's a really great uh, thing that they have there. Whoa, dude, girl. Like she's almost gonna pull out. I'm like, oh no, uh-uh, don't do that to me. Um, but anyway, yeah, 
awesome. So I'm glad I got to come out here and do that. Right now I'm feeling good, so and I'm headed home. <laughs> so I know like I gotta go straight home after that. Um, but anyway, good food. I thought it was great. I'm so happy that I was able to go check it out and try it out, share it with you guys. Let me know if you guys have a Slim Chickens or if you guys have ever heard of Slim Chickens around your area. If so, do you like it? What would you compare it to? Um, and yeah, so I will see you guys at home and I will share you guys, show you guys what I picked up at um, Hobby Lobby today. So, yay! Alrighty, so I am back home and I wanted to quickly show you guys the stuff that I did pick up from Hobby Lobby today. Um, everything was 50% off, all of their Christmas was 50% off, I guess I should say. So I was like, um, now is the time to kind of stock up on some of the Christmas decorations that I couldn't get last year that I needed to get this year. And I'm kind of switching things up a little bit in my dining room. Last year I kind of did like a black and gold thing. I, this year I'm gonna do like black, gray, and ivories and light pinks so pretty um, but anyway so I'm not taking everything out of the bag because I'm just gonna carry this upstairs in just a second and put it all away but I will show you all of the stuff that I got okay so uh, here is the bags uh, these I got these cute little white trees I got two of those there's one right here and then one right here in the bag still so I don't want to take them out um, and then I got these little picks all, I got 12 of those picks. I got uh, 10 or 12 of these um, like pink ivory goldish ball picks. So cute. I got gold balls. Um, these are all wrapped up. That is a Santa Claus for, to put on the tiered trays. Um, I got these green ones to put in our room for my green tree. I got these uh, like light pinky ones to put on the tree that's gonna go in the dining room. Um, and these stars as well. These little like snowflake stars, aren't those so pretty and cute? Um, then I got this uh, like grayish type of balls, these pinky kind of balls, and then these two um, sets of the Christmas balls right there. And if I say balls one more time, I'm going to die. Um, and then I got these two hooks because these are the ones that are gonna go into our bedroom. And let me go show you what I'm trying to, where I'm trying to put them. Alrighty, so here is our shower, and I actually had a thing hanging on the back of our door right here, and it was just ruining, I mean, look at the top of our thing right there. It was ruining that, so I took this off of the back of the door, and now we have to get that fixed. Um, but anyway, so these hooks, I wanted to put, you know, like one right here, and then like another one down here, and that's to hang up our towels. So I think that's gonna work out a lot nicer and a lot better than the other ones. And this one comes out a lot farther too, which I like. That way the towel isn't exactly right up against the wall. This way it'll actually give the towel some, some dry time. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna put one here and then probably one like right here, or one here and one here. So we'll figure it out, but I'll have Brian hang those up later. And uh, I will show you guys. I will show you guys what it looks like after that. So I'm going to carry this stuff upstairs and put it away because obviously I won't need it until Christmas time. So I'll check back in with you guys. Oh, and then I did get this black. Uh, this thing is so pretty. I'm actually getting ready to go set it over there on my hutch really quick um, because I I was those little. I should have brought the thingy over here. But those Wicked Witch um, cups that I got yesterday at Home Goods, I put over here, but I have it sitting on this like candle. So I'm gonna actually put that other thing over here and set it on there so it'll look so much nicer. Alrighty, so that looks better. Oh my gosh, I love that black cake stand. That is so cute. It worked out a little bit. I was just trying to play with some things. It worked out a little bit better over here. I am happy about it now. 